Here's the current number one in the world, Jin Young Ko, with her third shot at the par five second. Earmuffs on, mask on, game on. This summer, NB Park, an early bogey. Couple of pars, and then missed the green in regulation at four. So, how does she answer? She jars it from off the green, and NB right back to where she started. You leave me know. The 19 year old from Concord, California. She bogeyed three and with perfect touch rolls in the birdie at four to get back to four. Veteran Texan Angela Stanford went to Fort Worth Boswell High School, won a state championship, played at TCU. She flashes the Horn Frog sign yesterday in round three. Par five sixth after her fellow competitors. Did not birdie, NB Park did to take the outright lead. She would have company soon because at the tough eight with the wind whipping. Oh, she's a Texan, Angela Stanford. She's played in the wind her whole life. Slings one into the eighth and would roll that in for birdie. And Angela Stanford tied for the lead when this final round began. World number one, Jin Young Ko. Four wins last year, including a couple of majors. And she joins the lead with Angela Stanford at NB Park. What a final round we have for you next. And this is Kristen Gilman at the ninth. Like Trying to get it to four under par. What a special week it would be for Kristen Gilman. Coming from Texas, from Austin. She's right in the hunt. I mean, there's so many players who could get this done this afternoon. This part is about as slow as you can get out here, uphill and into the wind. Stress-free, par. Joining you, Judy, as an inductee in the Texas Golf Hall of Fame. Yeah, well that, deserved after 20 years on the LPG. Yeah, tour. that that's um, a, a real treat. She was so tickled to hear that uh, she was going to be part of that group and well deserved. And she makes this putt, but going back to the face mark, I think face mask. I think Jin Yun's very comfortable wearing one, and it's certainly keeping her face a lot warmer out here, and probably a very wise move in terms of keeping the heat in mm -hmm. your system. Into the green uphill the whole way. Should turn a little left. Did you get it there? No. She'll head to the 10th tee, having played the front nine one under par. But right there, tied for the lead. Trying to win this for the third time. Slightly back uphill for Soya, and you shouldn't turn. Um, that makes it more difficult. She had to be so delicate. Oh, no. Cruel. Don't think it's going to fall in, is it? The wind is blowing in that direction. It needs a big gust, though. Now, yeah, 10 seconds from getting to the hole. No, it's not going to fall, so it's going to be a bogey. They had more double bogeys on the 11th hole at par three. And um, just in beautiful condition. Jin Young Ko just tapping in there at the 11th. It's good up and down. Yalimi looks every bit of 19 right there with her head on her hands, almost like she's watching her idol <laughs> play, and she's in the gallery almost. She gives the appearance that she expects to perform well, even though these are kind of somewhat uncharted waters for her. Just one top 10 all season. It was a third in Portland where she almost won last year as a Monday qualifier. Love to build a drama <laughs> up on this one, but there's no possible way. This is a man who's, I think, seen more NB putts go in than anyone on the planet. And I think it, I think it damaged Portanong for some long time because um, she has not contended it contended to win mm. really almost in my memory yeah. since then just turned 31 on friday 247th event on the lpga tour her 11th season 
to your point, Judy, this last year was the first time she finished outside the top 60 on the money list. Not far, but still. You let me know for a birdie here at 11. Ever so gently uphill, not much break. Flag stick in on the long putts, but not the short ones. Oh, well done, that's a bonus today. Boy, is it ever. And you let me know, battling away against uh, these big name players at the top of this leaderboard, just the seventh birdie of the day here, caused that sort of bump. Co-leader Jin Young Ko, safely in. Pretty steady from that range, isn't she? Is there, a, 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 she's steady in every way. But we've had two events in Texas in the same year. In B for par. Right. And but just a little note about the year. Who knew it would be in December? I know, <laughs> we ex weren't expecting that, were we? Short follow through. <laughs> a heck of a shot though. How about that? Wow. That club never got a waist high on the follow through. But a little bit of green and even the three and four footer. Third shot for Andrew Stanford at 13. Yeah, that was from a more of a tougher angle, but how about that for some spinach? Yeah, we haven't seen too much action like that. Handles it, 13. Stanford birdie putt. This was a tricky read, Tom. But, uh, Angela handled it nicely, little fist pump there. She knows how good that was. Yeah, gets her back into a tie for the lead and repairs that uh, bogey that she made at the 11. I'm not so sure this is one that you necessarily get over and think you're gonna make. I think you just wanna put the best stroke you can on it and if it goes in, then that's just a bonus. It might be a bonus. Oh, so close. She will remain at five under tie for the lead. I think it's important for Jin Young to come back and, and show that her game is traveling. Really strong, Judy. I mean, we've seen the swing and, and you've talked about how impressive that is, but shots like that. Harry gave NB a putt of about twice this length a couple of holes ago. It's a formality. She drops a shot. Kristen Gilman, another player who's just a little bit too far back, needs to turn things on. Four behind at the moment. Well, right on cue. She gives herself basically a, a gimme birdie there. Gilman's birdie. We've given it to her already, but she moves to two under. And there's a chance. There's a chance for Kristen Gilman, but she's going to have to push. I think she's just very comfortable with how she plays golf now. And I think the biggest thing that I've noticed is that she's not just a one dimensional player mm. anymore. She can move it both ways. She's creating shots out here on this golf course. Stanford for birdie. This one back downhill should move to the left. Looks like a nice smooth stroke though. Oh. Mm -hmm. Angela Stanford back to back birdies. And That's she... like a dagger right there. Wow. How about the revenge she exacts on the 14th hole from yesterday? That's it. Yeah, that was revenge. Right on the tree there, down the right with the layup. This is her third. Just clear of it, though, 122. But it's straight downwind. Has to be precise because that back left edge or corner is only 17 yards deep, and that was well done. Yeah, she's got a lot of stop on that. You leave me know at the 13th for birdie. Looks like it should move just a touch left, but the wind might have something to say about that. That's straight. Wow. <laughs> Putting with the flag in when the wind's blowing seems strange to me. Yeah, the uh, uh, the flag stick is wobbly in. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I know disaster can happen at any time, but I don't see Angela having a bad hole now. Yeah, we talk of patience seems to be the word that's used so often in golf, but the fact is, when you come down to just uh, four or five holes left in a golf tournament, there's a certain urgency. A six. Back at the 13th hole, and so Yun Yu has this for birdie. Yes, NB Park putted first, and just at the top lip from here, the right lip. The run of pars continues for so Yun Yu.
pars today. Second at the 15th for Stanford. That was from 112. A little, a little bit short, it's going to come back down the slope, but that, yeah, sure. pulling it on the back there. Yeah, that's fine mm -hmm. right there. I made the point a couple of days ago that she practices a lot at Shady Oaks with Kim Kaufman, with Cheyenne Knight, with Jarena Pillar. He has to trust the yardage here and trust the direction of the wind, because even the flag isn't blowing that much. That was a wedge. Spot on. Beautiful shot. Jin Young Ko for that bounce back birdie to get it to four under par. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the left side of the green. If it's enough. Just enough. It's a good shot. Yeah, anything on this green is an excellent shot. Now finds itself even par for the tournament. Inby Park for birdie. Very flat looking putt. Hold on. Here she comes. This is a third shot for Jennifer Cupcho. Started the day today, only five shots back of the lead. This one will come back to the hole, might go in. Yeah, lovely shot. It's going to be a tap in birdie for Cupcho. 14, you. Uphill lie. 0 for 2 on sand saves this week. Nice. Wow. Well, that's going to change. She stays like Yelini No. For it to not ride the wind as much. And this one's just a little bit lower, starting left side of the green. Good shot. Mm. Now Stanford for birdie. Will it drop? Oh, oh my. I think she is um, starting to see the finish line. The par putt for Yili Mino. Looking a little right of the hole. Not much. Oh, that is a heck of an up and down. You bet. She is seeming to thrive under the pressure. So it'll be interesting. With everything spread out the way it is right now in terms of players, uh, in contention in a few different groups. Hataoka making that one. And it gets her to even par. Yeah, that was just tough to judge the speed and she has to be feeling the pressure to to have made that birdie putt knowing that Angela was in so tight as well. Well, not taking it too far left, but a little. Yeah, it was a good club, good shot. And a chance to get it to five under within two of the lead. That's a pretty good starting salary, Judy. You bet. <laughs> yeah. Gonna and make... she plays like she deserves it. Yeah, going to make a nice check here. Maybe a winner's check. Yeah, might be. MB Park putting for birdie at the 15th. Got a good read from So Yun Yu's putt. She didn't make hers. This one just turning a little right, very slow. Yeah, you gotta force yourself to hit it. It's gonna be a par for MB, but she doesn't need pars. She needs birdies with the way that Angela Stanford is playing. Trails by two. Stanford at the 17th. And MB on the green here at 15. It's gonna tap it in. Okay. Three to play. I think to this flag. Because if she is going to let this ride the wind, she has to start it off the green left. Should come back. Yeah, she's got been getting some good spin, Tom. Yeah, that's going to work out well. Really nice shot from Stanford. Drew it up and executed exactly the way that she wanted to. I'm not sure that it does much. There's a little bit of slope off the bunker. Uh, that's right of the hole and so subtle. It's good oh, night. Go. I mean, this is amazing. Gets her to eight under par. She's five under for the day. That'll test her again. 
Jin Young Ko's third at 17. That was from eight yards less. And that's going to come back as well. Yep, nice use of the backstop. And she's three shots behind. That did move, not a bit. Wow. Three bogeys, three birdies today for Yelimi No, and she is four back with two to play. Oh, good catch. Just does drop for par, so NB remains three back with two to play. Par 5, 17th. As we've talked about, not sure it's going to happen. This time around. Jessica Corda, just a, a Sunday to forget, but a finish to remember. And now she says, now they're going in seriously? She finishes birdie, birdie. And a five over par 76. She's got that kind of game for um, major championship golf, but hadn't come through just yet. Charlie Holman has just sneaked one on the green. She's made an eagle here. That's really well done. Gets Charlie to three under par. Charlie is actually battling to get into the CME Group Tour Championship. She hasn't played that much on the LPGA Tour this year. That's flying past. She's going to come back. Gonna Not much. Need some spin to get it to come back like those shots we saw a little earlier. It'll be another Impressive week to put into the memory banks and to uh, gain some knowledge from playing alongside two players that uh, she has looked up to for her whole golfing career. You never know. That's uh, certainly a possibility from here. A little uphill lie, pretty basic pitch shot. Should get it within eight to ten feet every time. Oh, that just dug when it landed. Quick. Didn't like it. They can quarantine in their own homes. They don't have to go into a hotel for two weeks. And that is a good part, but run out of steam. So it's been one of the factors that has kept a lot of the big name Korean players away from playing on the LPGA Tour this year. They've preferred to stay back in Korea because of those restrictions. But now they've been eased somewhat. Remains at four under, at the moment tied for third, and in great form. <laughs> the door is ever so slightly ajar. But Angela Stanford, a 67, and she will now sit and wait and watch seven under approach at 17 just wasn't what she needed that putt down the hill was uh... here it is the last chance in B Park seven I'm pretty sure she knows what she needs to do but it's just riding the wind a little left a pretty good effort shot, mate. Good shot there she had to hold it she didn't okay. You could do worse than picking e any one of these three players in the final group next week. U.S. And Women's Open. I would bet you're going to see a number of these in contention. Come on. Even Yelimi Know at the age of 19, she has put herself in the fire. Love what she said, said about her short game. Through three rounds, she had Angela had only hit 50 percent of the greens in regulation. And she goes on and wins. Nice finish for so young. I would say so. Well, it does. Now check out the card here. It does mess up the card. She had 17 pars until the birdie. She'll take it. Okay. <laughs> How about that? The three in the final group all shoots, all shoot 70. 
Robert. What a moment for the youngster. Angela winner, winner. Stanford, <laughs> the hometown girl, has made good. She wins the Volunteers of America Classic with a Sunday 67.